What's going on guys? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fillet this beautiful fish known as an African pompano. These are kind of rare to catch offshore, so when you do catch one, it's a real treat. Very good table fare. So, let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to note is that this is a kind of an awkward and not so easy fish to fillet. So I'm really going to take my time and show you guys the ins and outs of this. And I'm going to show you two ways to fillet it. First way, we're going to just knock off one side. Second way on the other side, we're going to fillet it like a tuna and do two loins. So in today's fillet demo, big fish, I like an eight inch sport fish curved knife. I'm going to have it linked below for you guys. You guys can check it out on the site. With any fish, you always feel around when you start with the head cut. You feel around to where the soft part of the head meat ends, which I can see is right around here. So that's where I'm going to start with my head cut and I'm going to follow it around. And I'm going to follow it around here, around the peck fin and down to that fin. I'm going to meet my head cut right here get on the fish's spine and very superficially just going to take my knife and I'm just going to go along the outside edge of this fish. You guys see you don't have to rush just take your time especially with the fish like this it's not that easy to fillet. Just the very outside edge we're just outlining it. You guys will notice that the outside edge of this fish is also very bony. Okay once we have that outlined, I like to make a tail cut right here. Now what I like to do is I like to work working this way back up from the tail to the head. So I take my knife and I rest it on the fish's spine. I really make sure that my knife is in contact with the fish's bone, not just aimlessly gr gliding through flesh, but I can really feel that the knife is on the fish's spine. Okay. So I will continue to do this, and you might have to make multiple passes because it is such a big fish, until I get to the fish's backbone. Every fish's backbone always runs along the center right here. So the first step is always getting to the fish's backbone. You guys will be able to hear your knife on the fish's backbone as well. Okay, now I'm to the middle. Now what I like to do, flip this fish around. Because working with such a big piece, you never want to fold over the fillet. Sometimes it's better to approach it from the other side. So we're going to do the same thing. Not go too deep in the gut cavity, just very superficially on the outside of this fish. We're just marking them. Same thing. Get on the fish's spine and go to the backbone. So now basically if you guys can picture it, we've separated the fish on the top half and the bottom half and the only place it's attached now is going to be on the backbone and the ribs right here. Okay, so this head meat is just going to fold away because we already made those cuts. And you can see it's going to be attached right here by the rib cage. Now what I'm going to do is very gently take this flap right here and we're going to have to go over the backbone and over the rib cage. You're going to take your knife, get on this rib cage and then go down along it. And that's it. So have my African pompano flipped over. This time I'm going to start from the tail and work up towards the head. But same principle, just going to outline my fish. You guys see how that knife kind of saws along? Because they have very big bony protrusions.
okay, all the way to the head. Connect it to where it ends, here and around the pec fin, over the rib cage, and down to that bone. Once again, get your knife on the fish's spine and just work your way up along the spine. On the spine, all the way to the backbone. Now the second way I'm going to show you guys how to fillet it. Right here, every fish has a lateral line, or the blood line, also known as the backbone. What we're going to do is we're going to take our knife, go right here, right down the middle of the fillet, just like you would a tuna. And I'm going to follow it up the center, all the way up along that blood line. So what we did is, we should have freed the top half of this fillet. Okay, so now this should be able to slide right out. Or just attach right here at the tail. Bam. So that's the other way to fillet it. You guys see there's nothing really left on there. This is the backbone. So what we did is we basically took the fillet off of one half of the backbone. Now we got to take the fillet off the other half of the backbone. So now you can either work from the backbone end or the outer edge of the fish. I'm going to choose the outer end of the fish. Outline them again. Meet this cut. You know, there's hundreds of different ways of filleting fish and you just got to find one that works for you. But the main thing with these videos is to kind of just show you guys the visualization of what's what and you know where you should be making your cuts and how to approach them and different methods. That's really what it comes down to. But once you understand the basic principles of you know getting to the backbone and separating and making sure you don't fold over your fillets, you should be good to go. Okay, so that side is all marked out. Now we gotta do the same thing on this side and get over this fish's big rib cage. Big rib cage and big pin bones. Just like that. So here is the other side of your fillet. Here's what I wanted to show you guys. So a lot of people with African pompano, they will completely bypass this section. There's not a lot of meat on the ribs, but it's still worth getting. So a lot of people will just make their first cut, go down here, and basically go to the anal fin, bypassing all this. I showed you guys the way to get the maximum amount of yield with all the meat on the rib cage. So there's one side. Now to skin our African pompano. This is actually a nine inch flexible fillet that actually now come with edge guards. I'm gonna have them linked below as well. Nice, keep your hands safe, your knife safe, and uh, keep your blade protected. So, I'm not gonna do the big slab because when I skin fish, I always break it down into manageable pieces. I would do something like this, where I would cut down the middle and separate it into two loins. Since African pompano have very thin skin, remember, any fish that has really thin skin, the trick to skinning them is to break it down into smaller sections because the longer you have to go for skinning, the greater the likelihood you're gonna pierce through that thin skin. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take it into thirds, okay? Just like this. Now, instead of skinning one big piece, I have three smaller pieces to skin. I'm going to take my knife, always when you're skinning, start on the tail end of the fish and work up towards the head. Now, something like this that I know is going to have a lot of bloodline and be very bloody, I'm going to leave a very thin, 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 thin layer of flesh. And this will also not only prevent me from not getting any skin in my final products, but you guys see this white stringy stuff and that bloodline? Now that's not in your final product, which I would have cut out anyway. 
So now you have a good skinless piece of African pompano. And always what I like to do is I take my left hand and I'll trail with my left hand to make sure that my blade is doing what I want it to. Just like that, once again, left a very thin layer of that fibrous stuff, get rid of it. And there you go. Just little tips and tricks you guys can learn along the way. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch all you guys in the next one.